Um, and this does work even with uh, fractions as well. Um, 7 plus 5, and that is a 3 for y. All of that is in parentheses, divided by 3 and a sixth. Okay. Do what's inside the parentheses first, which gives me 22. Alright. Then, when I multiply those two, 3 times 1 sixth is 3 over 6, which reduces to a half. So really I'm saying do 22 divided by a half. Well, for those of you that don't remember, uh, when dividing by a fraction, it's like multiplying by the reciprocal. So it's like saying do 22 times 2 over 1. And remember, the reciprocal is like flipping. So 22 times 2 is 44. So that is your answer for that problem. Over here, it would be 7 plus 1 over 7, and that's all in parentheses, divided by 10 over 2 sevenths. So I do what's in parentheses. And when I'm doing this, I need to make them have um, the same denominators. That's why I wrote this over 1. So I have the same base. I'd multiply both the top and the bottom by 7. So I get 49 over 7 plus 1 over 7 which means this right here, that gives me 50 over 7 because you add the tops, right, and you keep the denominator the same, so it's 50 over 7. Um, this right here, I multiply 10 over 1 times 2 over 7, and that will give me 20 over 7. Now, just like I told you before up here, just like we just talked about. I said we have 50 over 7 divided by 20 over 7. When you have fractions and you're doing division, it's like multiplying by the reciprocal. So it's like saying 50 divided by 7 times 7 over 20, because I flip it. The 7s cancel. I end up with 50 over 20, and I can simplify that by 10. So your final answer is 5 over 2. And you can also do this with decimals, but you're understanding the point now. Um, let's see, I'm trying to find one that's a little different. Here we go. Um, simplifying these is what I want to take a look at here. You have to use the distributive property, which we just talked about. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Now you need to distribute this through using the distributive property. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. So now you need to combine like terms. I have 4x's and negative 5x's, which means I have negative 1x's. I have negative 4 plus 5, which gives me positive 1. And there is everything combined together. <coughs> Now on this, I need to combine everything that's the same. So let's start simple. I have a negative 4. Any other just numbers you see? Well, I see a negative 7. So those two, I get a negative 11. Okay, so they're done. There's no other just numbers. Now I know this stuff looks kind of crazy to you, but hear me out. This right here is the same as this. Think about it as one whole variable, okay? What do we do up here? If our what if we what we do if I had six a and five a? What do you do? You add them to get eleven a, right? Well, imagine if you will that that is one whole variable. You have six x y's and you have one x y's. That means you have seven x y's. So that's gone. Now, picture this as one whole variable, even though I know it's x to the 8th and y to the 8th, right? Even though, what I want you to keep in mind is picture that as one whole variable. If you have negative 5 of them and negative 8 of them, you have negative 13 of them. And the reason why I'm going over this with you is this is a big concept to understand, okay? And here's the big concept that I want to get through to you. This 
and this are not the same just because they have x's and y's in them. They are two completely different variables. That's what they are. They're two completely different variables. So please keep that in mind. That's why I can't just put those together. So that is your final simplified answer. <clears throat> so once again, keeping this in mind, because you guys always mess this up, you can't combine those together and get, oh, I have, you know, two x's squared. Or sometimes you guys combine them together to say stuff like this when you're adding. Or sometimes, I don't I mean, you guys get weird answers. All of these are wrong, okay? Because they are not the same, you can't do anything. This is done. You can't do anything to it. This right here. Done. You can't add them together, okay? This here. You can't put them together. Sometimes you guys give me answers like this. That's, no, 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 no. When you're adding, they're done. It has to be the same. You can do this. This is possible, right? Having something like this. This is what you get for an answer. If I gave you this and this, this is possible. You get seven x's cubed. If I gave you z to the eighth and z to the sixteenth, no, because they are not the same anymore. Okay, five or sorry, three x squared and five x squared. When you add them together, because the variable is the same, you get eight x's squared. That's when you can add them together. So please keep that in mind when you're doing these problems. If you have any other further questions, please let me know.